Hello everyone and welcome back to Benchmark 2. We are in our bewitchment robes here because we are summoning Beelzebub with this pig here. We need to do it before the night turns to day. But we've been told we need to be wearing these clothes and let's just do it. Oh, okay, hold on. Hold it down. It is using all of my magical energy. There he is. Can we get rid of the fire, please? So we can't trade with him. Ah! What the hell? Alright, he just summoned a bunch of spiders. And then some wasps there. Okay, well he's not attacking me. But he's not, he's not offering me any trades. I thought that's what was happening. So it said I may want to offer him some garlic bread. So let's do that. Let's get some grilled garlic and some bread and we'll offer him some garlic bread. See what he says about that. Oh, he's just some... Oh, he's attacking the sheep. Poor sheep. Is he just going to attack every living thing around here? Let's offer him some garlic bread, see what happens. Alright, so I've got the garlic bread. Let's try one for ourselves. Yummy. So, Beelzebub, you want some garlic bread? That does nothing. Throw it to him. No. Right, we're going to engage in combat with him now. Doesn't want my garlic bread? Well, then it's a fight to the death. It's put on my good armour. Come on then. Oh, he doesn't want to attack me. Hold on, are you friendly with me because I was wearing it at some point? What if I fly really far? I want to see if he attacks me first. Alright, I guess we're going in with the first hit. He's regenerating really fast. He's also not interested in fighting me in the slightest. Can I pick him up? I mean, yeah, I can pick him up in my lasso. What am I supposed to do with him now if I can't kill him? What's the point of having him here? But he's also not attacking me. I'm confused at the whole point of this creature. So apparently I can pledge allegiance to Beelzebub by drinking this and staring into his eyes. So we're going to do that. I have no idea what it's going to do, but we're going to do it. So we need another demon. And then all the other ingredients we have. So to get a demon think those were the ingredients plus a human and I do want to see well, shall I try and shall I wait and trade for it see if I can get a better thing and I do want to see if I can use a piglin I found one lone one down here next to where I was killing them before so I've got my piglin hopefully that'll be enough to Oh, is this a blood moon? I guess so. Is that going to make the demon stronger? Is Beelzebub... Oh, you're attacking me now, are you? I thought we were friends. Maybe he only attacks at night. No, but I summoned him at night. Ah, oh, Dizzy. Are we friends now, Beelzebub? Looks that way. Hey, who put a cobweb here? Save me, Beelzebub. Well, this is not the best time to be fighting demons, really.
Right, are we good? Are you attacking me now? Thought we were friends. What the hell killed me? I thought I was stronger than that. Right, I've got my stuff. I don't know why I've lost all my hearts. Oh, there we go. That fixed it. There's so many creatures. And my inventory is packed. This is just... This is not a good time for this to happen. Right, I'm ready to go. Quick, 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 quick. Okay, um, where's my... No, I'm supposed to kill him. Okay. Beelzebub, you have to move. I'm sorry. Helmet? Where's my helmet? I'm almost dead. Beelzebub, I'm trying to pledge allegiance to you here. I need to... Where do I put him? It's, this is not a good time for Blood Moon to happen. Moon doesn't even look that bloody. Oh, yeah, go. Turn shaders off and it does. Hey, there's my quarry. I forgot about my quarry. How deep's it gone? Oh, my God. There's snow on top of the solar panel. Right. Kind of annoying. I just crashed there. That's very annoying, actually. So, as I was saying, snow on top of the solar panel. Does that stop it from producing? God, this thing hasn't even gotten that far. It's been a while now. I've had it running for a few episodes, I think. And it's just... It's not very far, but it is huge, isn't it? It's just a ginormous quarry. Once it gets down to redstone level, that'll be good for me. Anyway. Oh god, don't crash again. Why are the frames dropping so much? Or should we just build, should we build a room in... God, what was that explosion? Please don't ruin anything. Oh god, no, properly exploded some of my sigils. Stop exploding things. Alright, Beelzebub needs a room. He's quite a big guy, so he needs a big room. We'll do... We'll do a room like this along here somewhere, maybe move the enchanted table. And yes, I did see the comment where someone pointed out that I completely forgot about tinted glass being a thing in the game, so I didn't need these shutters. But I'm going to leave it like this, because I do like the shutters. But yes, I did forget about tinted glass. Right, Beelzebub, I guess I'm just going to stick him in a little hole here, just temporarily. Okay, so I just temporarily need to place my piglin somewhere. So I have my lasso free to pick him up. Got him. Then we head back down there. Ah, oh, that was quick. I thought I'd have more time than that. Alright, well I suppose we might as well try it with a piglin now. How'd the cat get over there? Come back, cat. Right, so Beelzebub's back where he belongs. Well, back down there at least. And then someone's just completely ruined my circle. Yeah, that's not a proper sacrifice. I didn't think so. That's fine though, I can get one. And do I even want to leave Beelzebub in there? Because I don't want his name constantly on top of my screen. Or maybe I do. I don't know. If I'm going to pledge allegiance to him, maybe I do. But I need to go find... Shall, shall I just grab a human from the village? I'll test out the whole piglin thing another day. This guy's about to die anyway, so I'll just take him. Right, so I need a demon heart so I can pledge allegiance.
Come on, demon. Easy. I need to get looting on this sword. I wonder if that'll get more hearts. How many d hearts does a demon have? Okay, and then I need to get the soup. This one. Grotesque stew. So rotten flesh, leather, snake tongue, fermented spider eye, bottle of blood, and a bowl. I'm just going to go gather all of that. Grotesque stew. So I guess I need my robes on. And then I think it is... I just need to eat it. By drinking while looking into the eyes, by deeply looking into the eyes of a greater demon. Right, so I need to look deep into his eyes. Come here. How deep are your eyes? I guess that's my allegiance pledged. So now what? What does this mean? So now my, I've pledged my allegiance to Beelzebub. What does that do for me? Instead of Make me sick for 20 seconds. Alright, all the negative effects have gone now. And what does that mean for me? What can I do? Is there a control for it? So keybinds. Transformability, that sounds like it. R, let's just press R. Nothing. It turned me into Steve. Why is it turned me into... I, I haven't been Steve this whole time, have I? I've been me. Well, it's not doing anything. Well, that's disappointing, because now I'm Steve. You made me Steve. I can't even kill this thing. I have no idea what to do with it. I could toss it in a volcano. Right, I want to get myself from the quest book. I want the final broom. The rainbow looking broom. And I'm going to need all four brooms for that. So that means three more demons to kill to get their hearts. And then I need to get a wither to get the star. Heaven extract and fiery serum is easy enough. But yes, I'm going to need a demon heart for each of the other brooms. So I've got my one here. Let's just break it, keep it for safekeeping in here. So yes, I need to summon three more demons. So I need the snake's tongue, which I believe I can only get from the wolves, right? Right, so I've got my first hellhound right here. No, I didn't kill it with looting. Still got one tongue. Right, I'm just going to need to keep flying around until I find some more. It's going to take some time, annoyingly. But I've been thinking as well, I think I'm coming to the end of this series. So I think I'll finish off this episode getting the final broom. And then we'll do something in for one more episode. But I think the next episode in two days, I reckon that's going to be the last one for this series. I've had a lot of fun with this series, but I just feel like I've done... All there is to do. Well, all I've wanted to do. I'm sure there's plenty more to do, but I've done enough, in my opinion. And I kind of want to get into, like, a Skyblock mod pack. And I'll be looking into which one I like the look of the most. But I think that sounds like something I want to do. A modded Skyblock. Let me know if that's something you'll enjoy. Ah, oh, I've got two Hellhounds together. And this must have been where I killed a... An Enderman. Right, let's just deal with the skeleton nuisances first. Right, hellhounds. Lots of tongues, please. Right, okay, still only got... Oh no, there's more over here. Right, that's pretty good, so I'm going to keep looking. So I found out instead of what I've been doing is I've been running around 
But I found a better way to look for them. So I can just go on the map here. There we go, there's one already. And I can just hover over the red dots to try and find them. So that's much easier than just going up to them. So there's two close to each other. Hey, there's a piglin. Let me capture one of you. Because I need to test if killing you does what I want it to do. But anyway, I need a hellhound. There's two right there. God, this is a much better way of finding them. The map really does come in handy. But I only need I only need three tongues anyway, so I've got enough. So let's head back with that. So I've got my lasso for one of the things. And then I'm going to need the rest of the ingredients. So I need three horns, three tongues, three belladonna, three aconites, and then three diamonds. So he's going to need to go somewhere else. So have I got my grapple on me? Because that would probably be the best way of doing it. If I just carry him up and just stick him over here for now. Yeah, he's not going to die. He's super strong. Summon demon. It does. That's cool. So I can use any sort of humanoid thing. A golden one again. Wait, let's get it with the looting sword. Wait, I should get it low enough with my stronger sword. Okay, and then finish it off with the looting. So I still only got the one heart. I've got two horns. Is that all? I think that's all. I didn't get much else for that. Right, so I'm going to do that twice more, get the hearts, and then come back. I just stupidly wasted two lots of villagers. So I summoned one in and then stupidly killed it with my main sword. And I went back to get another one, killed it with the athame. But then I don't have enough power in here. Ah, so I've just wasted two villagers from the close by village. Alright, it's the next demon. Same thing again, get him low, and use looting. I still don't know if it's possible to get more than one heart, but it's worth trying. Oh yeah, see, look, I just got more than one heart, definitely. See, looting was definitely worth it. Ah, oh, no fire. No fire. Aha, so that was only one extra one, and that got me more than all the hearts I needed. Fantastic. Well, what's next then? So I need to make all of them so i need heaven extract i'm gonna need three lots of the heaven extracts so how did i make that heaven extracts so feather juniper mandrake and then we need one of each log so we need cyp no not stripped we need the full one so cypress elder and dragon And then we need saplings of each of them. So a couple of dragon's blood, juniper. No, juniper's the one we've already got. A couple of cypress. And then a couple of elder. Amazing. And then combining them together into the final broom. So I need. Heaven extract, I've got one fiery serum I need. So lignite, oak, and poppy. And heaven extract, I've got two ender pearls and a nether star. Is there a chance I've still got a nether star? Because I feel like I never used one. No, I haven't. I, I just remember killing two withers and only using one of the stars. I must have used it for something. Unless I kept it in my backpack. So let's go fight the wither. We'll fight it in the same place before. Because it's a good distance from the house. I don't want to travel too fast and lag everything out. But there's 
but this is our fighting area. So I've summoned it once in there and then once in the tower. Where shall I summon it this time? Back in the tower. Shall I try and blow up the roof? Right, but I'll summon the wither in the next episode because this episode has ran to the end. And we'll get the final broom at the start of the next episode. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the final episode of Benchmark 2. Goodbye.